Hi, I'm Brett, and today is another quickie video update on our Project 86, the supercharged turbocharged car from ROH Wheels in Australia. And it's a great opportunity to actually explain the differences in spring tension on wastegate actuators and the relationship between the pneumatic controllers in closed loop boost control, which is part of this kit when we control it through the factory UCU upgrade with the Ecutec software. So if you've got a turbocharged car, this you'll find very, very interesting. What we've got here is the, an 8 psi wastegate actuator, a 6 psi actuator, and the one we've just removed off our car is a 5 psi actuator. Now, this is the part that the electronic boost control solenoid pulses to control boost on your car. And a lot of people ask about things like, well, what is seat pressure and what is actuator pressure? Effectively, inside here is a diaphragm with a spring. And on this side, you have either vacuum or boost, depending on how the car's performing. And what happens is this moves in and out. It's easier for me to show you on the car, because at the moment we haven't connected the wastegate back up to the rod that comes out of the wastegate actuator arm assembly. Because this is the part that's got the spring and the diaphragm in it, and this is the part that is controlled by the electronic boost control. The important thing is, is when this is connected back together, you obviously want what they call some form of seat tension to hold the wastegate valve closed as the car is coming on to boost, otherwise it will open too early. The other important part is you want enough spring tension in the wastegate um, actuator to hold the boost around the target boost pressure that you will be running with your car. Now in this situation with this car we're trying different varying boost levels but we know we want to run a different spring tension for what we've had so we're changing it. On your turbocharged car the important part that you want to know typically aftermarket turbos come with replacement actuators but if you're changing them or fiddling with them the tension that you put on that by adjusting the locking nut on the rod against the, holding the wastegate closed on the turbo side will affect how the car will come on to boost and how the wastegate will start to open. It'll either come on lazy or it'll come on and overshoot, but ultimately, once the wastegate is open, the opening tension doesn't have a lot of effect in the way the boost control ultimately controls your final boost. That is controlled by the spring tension, which should be fairly close to the target boost that you're wanting to run. Remember, the final target boost is controlled by the wastegate solenoid, which is a port that vents the boosted air coming from the inlet manifold, which is again controlled by your aftermarket boost controller or your factory ECU, or in the case of this car, the factory ECU with Ecutec software that has had an enhancement to the software to allow us to run closed loop boost control. So there you have it today. We're almost ready to uh, start the car up with the supercharger and the turbocharger. These are just some of the little detail things that make a big difference. You'll see we've got the rest of the car finished with the charge cooler in the front for the radiator for the inlet side of the supercharger. Behind here we've got the air-to-air -air intercooler from the AVO turbo kit. Underneath here you can see how the turbo fits with the sump because remember on this car the turbo sits down underneath the engine so it has a scavenging pump that pulls the oil that drains out of the turbo bearing back into the engine and all the other parts. And I want to add one point here also, bullet superchargers here in Australia are the distributors of the Sprintec supercharger system. So if you're looking for an upgrade with a supercharger on your Toyota 86 or your BRZ, go to their website. They've got some really good updates and information there as well. I'm choking on my own breath. Anyway, for today, hopefully that information has helped you. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter. Make a comment here on our video channel. We look forward to your updates. Motor Magazine Hot Tuna Challenge is only now a couple of weeks away and we're looking forward to running this car up on the dyno and seeing how it performs. But for now, I'm Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.